Dean's here. He's back. He's yeah. I'm working on the H2O pump. H2O Drink, pump. Drinking some H2O. I thought you were an H2O pump. <laughs> it's stock, guys. Yeah, it's seized and it's crusty. If it's something that has to be sent out to be repaired, it'll just be easier if it's functional. So this is the passage from one. I don't know. That goes from one head to the oh, other. Yeah, one okay. side of the block to the other. So we have to get the thermostat out and get this all cleaned up. This fits into a hole with a timing cover. So that is a big rubber thingy so that's going to be replaced or presumably replaced the water neck looks excellent very often those are rusted right out so that's that's good news so we'll pull that apart and then i want to put the thermostat uh in some hot water and see if it still works got a lot of these guys to clean up eight in fact <laughs> so that's i'll get fun. started on those just the rough clean for now so bad. <laughs> just got too drunk again that was fine. It's multiple hours later and Dean, cleaning machine Dean. Oh, he's doing the intake manifold. Right. But not done yet. Just a level one-ish. Just because it's got to get done. Like yeah, it was way we worse. Gotta, gotta start. You know? It's not too bad. Yeah, no, thanks. Somebody has painted it silver at some time. Yeah, there's the original paint right there. Okay, there we go. Got a little cast of original green. Water pump, still no love. Just still no stuck, love. stuck, stuck. Just stuck. Oh, and look, there's mini fraggers, fresh from the yeah. salon. How are you doing, Min? What's Uncle Dean doing? Is he making a lot of noise over there? Happy. And three down, five to go. Taking a lot longer than I thought. This is just the very roughest clean. And uh, yeah, they are really carboned up. But they're loosening up nicely. It's about right. I don't think they need to be any cleaner than that for now. Once the new rings uh, come in the mail, We'll clean everything again, and I'm gonna take these little scuff marks out. Get a fine sandpaper, and uh, yeah, very encouraged. Block uh, ready for honing, and then a really good clean. More good news coming right up on light buzz starter redo and water neck. That's the only fail today. I'll have to figure that out. That's okay. We're happy to get one. Sooner we get the Buick done, sooner we can do the TA. The TA's gonna be, yeah. That'll be coming soon. Still not done, man. I'm still working on it, kinda, you know? We should go eat nachos, though. Oh. He's good. Pretty auspicious day for the uh, for the Johnson Johnson project here. The lid is down for the first time in many decades. It actually fits; it still fits well. Uh, we think it's going to run. 
Oh, look at all those moving parts down there. Nice. Crocs actually in pretty good shape. Yes. Is there grease nipples on these? There should be on there. Check the other side. I know this one should have a grease nope. nipple on it right here. Mine had them. There is no grease nipple on this axle. <laughs> Whatsoever. Those are sealed bearings, look at them. Can we pull the track away enough so we can spin each wheel one at a time? Because if one's seized, like that's fine. That's seized. There you go, so that'll wreck the track in no time. Yeah, it'll come around. You can see it rocks a bit. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. this one spins. This one spins nice. Try this one here. Spins nice. Okay. You know what's great about doing it now? It's not packed with snow and it's not 40 below. Yeah. That one that is the only, the okay, well, let's get that one working then. And this is how you're gonna do it. Just back and forth, it'll go. Within five minutes, it'll be working. Just check all these ones. That one works. That one works. That one works. Does it work or is it? Yeah. Yeah. The old Spins time. nice. Yeah. yeah. It's probably just done this recently. Well, in the last 40 years. I don't. I think it would have burnt the belt, and the belt's fine, right? The belt would yeah. be all skidded off there. It's coming. Yeah, the wheel doesn't have a flat spot on it. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, you'd have a real problem. There it goes. You can hear she's a little dusty. Though. Yeah. Hopefully it'll settle in there. That's yeah, fun. maybe they just did away with all the grease points. That, they that might would be, surprise me. Right, and then you just buy the whole unit. Yeah, that's all I would do. I'll just give the whole thing up once over. Probably ride like a caddy. Probably ride like an old 98. Oh, nothing's that good. It's like the oldest motocraft stuff we found in this park one time. We should tip it the other way and do the other side too, yeah, hey? All right. It's weird, the tunnel is not all pounded out of it either, right? Like no, usually it's a, the- uh, It's a good candidate for a full restoration. Yeah, yeah well these are worth a fortune. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. you know there's a few things that aren't gonna happen. It's an original paint sled, man. Best estimate for this sled is probably hasn't been used in anger for 30 years, 35 years. Probably. Not checking the mail, folks. That's right. Dan, Dan hasn't checked his mail since we started this project. And he said, this is the incentive. So he's got to have something to get to the mailbox. It'd just be all the shots anyway. But. Get your snowmobile lower back muscles limbered up, eh? Those are the best to wreck. Oh, yeah. Okay. This thing better get used to the laying on its side anyway. Yeah. But look at that. The, the underneath the, the tunnel is not all wrecked. Like, this thing hasn't been bashed over tree stumps for its whole life. No. And there's no grease so nipple on that back axle. Sled, really. It's just got lots of highway miles. Yeah. I don't think it has very many miles at all. You know? Probably not. Is there an odometer? No. Nope. Does it have VDO gauges like mine? No, it's nothing fancy like that. You probably have a cigarette. Yeah, right the Golden too. Ghost is. Much oh, it's fancy. got everything. It's just. It's, like, it's full. It's load. a tank. This is like the Fury one. I'm driving an XL here. XL exactly. F 150. You got a King Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Okay, so now we need to put the gas tank back. Okay. Can do its final. So, what was the final solution for the fuel line? <laughs> really big bolt on the end of the yeah. new fuel. Oh, did you see the old one? Here, you That's the old fuel line. And that didn't flow. Yeah, I can't imagine. I, I don't know why. It wouldn't start. But, like, <laughs> no flow. This should you know what I blame that on? Ethanol gas. Seems <laughs> gonna have headlights, everything. And I want everything to work. It was up on here. So that's how we're gonna leave it. Cause that's how it was. Okay. All right. Did you lube up the brake out of curiosity? Yep. 
Oh, yeah, I yeah. Everything's got loop. <laughs> it's all serviced up except for the plants still growing. In the yeah, you even cut out the tree. You gotta leave some character. Yeah, that's right. You wanna over restore it yeah. right off the bat. You're already right into this, aren't you, Dan? You're like, oh. game on. Yeah. Mexican blanket, yeah. done. I was actually thinking about that blue Mexican blanket and I can put the rest on the floor of the old. What did I say that old? Right? Mint. He didn't, he didn't hear it. What? Put the rest oh. on the floor of the old? Yeah. yeah. I fuck anything to get that car on the road. Mexican blankets it is? Yeah. And Newport seats. New, I like Newport seats and fucking, yeah, indoor, outdoor. Indoor, outdoor, Mexi blanket. Or Mexi rug. Mexi blanket, parcel shelf, eh? Yeah. But oh, you Dan, your plug, shot. your plug wire boot. Plug wire boot, part oh, perishing. Oh, oh. You want to get some tape on that guy, or? No, it's fucking, it's fine just like that. All plug right. wire, I zoomed in on that. Oh, look at that, now we're doing the full resto mod. <laughs> Nobody would even notice that. Got a fucking field worthiness directive here. That's a size ring term. Oh, we need Andy. I got lots of them. What do you have here? I should have big. Oh, I grabbed them. Yeah, I grabbed yours. You got big brown ones like this? Yep. yep. The yellow ones in your kit right there. Or blue. Blue with it. Whatever you want. Yep, blue is fine. It's all looking pretty good. This is literally what they mean when they say blow the cobwebs out. You're actually going to be blowing the cobwebs out. And some of the smaller plat light. Do you want the hat of light? Nah. You, if you're going to be miserable, you might as well be miserable. What right? size is that uh, screw? All right. I wasn't expecting this today, actually. Very exciting. Somebody's gonna go get his mail. That is a high friction machine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of wasted it's horsepower like there, right? Just to make it drag itself around. I can smell a lot of friction. Coming to life now. We going? All right, I'll give it for a go. I know. He's not really even caning it, eh? But some of those parts that haven't moved in a long time move a little bit first. And we just threw the carb screws and everything back. Like we didn't do any adjustments on it whatsoever yet. Gonna run out of gas. Why would you say that? 
because he only put a gallon in. Probably burned it. Because it was put away, so there's no points. Well, that's not too bad. First attempt, eh? Hey? Success story. Yeah. It goes pretty good. Yeah, it's great. It's fine. It's perfect for this kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's warmed up, but I mean, you run that in, those bearings are going to roll better. Everything's going to work good. Well, okay, you guys go about what you're doing. I'm going to go check the mail. And All right. Well, it's been by. I think Miles is coming by later. Yeah. Yeah, got some tires well, on this what's thing. Well, what, she wants some tires done or? or no, we're just going to work, work on, on the Buick. Motor? Yeah. I ordered all the parts and shit, so I want the thing completely ready by the time the parts get here. Yeah, see? We're going to finish this thing one of these days. Yeah? Yeah. It's a nice car. I know. You know? A little bit every day, eh? It, it goes yeah. pretty good. Just go every day. Who was playing? Tom come by? Tom came by and plowed the driveway. Yeah, sweet, eh? Who was the other Tom you mentioned in the vid? Oh, that's Tom from Desro. Did you ever know Tom? No, I didn't. Oh, he owned uh, Desro, and I used to, I worked there for a couple of years and rented a bay, so I got to know all those guys pretty good. Tom actually left me some things. Uh, they're in the, all the Mopar sheet metal in the backyard that's stacked up on that Chevy frame. How's the... Treats me well. That's like good. This thing works better in the cold than it does in the heat. Yeah. I went out, I plugged it in for a couple hours, I one pumped it and yeah. hit the key and boom. Nice. It doesn't do that in the summer. No. <laughs> no, I gotta like three or four pumps yeah, yeah, and yeah. play with it and stuff. And that was good. Well, it's, what winter are we on now? Three, four? Four, I think. Unbelievable. And really, I haven't done much to it since. No, that's the whole idea. And frankly, it's not getting any rustier. Yeah. I mean, at least it's hard to tell. It is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even dirty. <laughs> okay, many hours later, numbers uh, seven and eight. Are you on number eight, Miles? I am, yeah. There we go. The hours are ticking by and we're scraping goo out of piston ring grooves. What's it like to buy a crate engine and just put it in? I uh, will never know. Never. I don't even know what it's like to buy a running car and just drive it. I, I can tell you what that's like. Yeah, is it all right? It's pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. You just hop in and you hit just, the road. You just give the guy some of those paper money things. and yeah. At least by buying cars that don't run, you don't find that the brakes, you don't get into the brake issue right away. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. we got to make this one go, and then we'll make it stop. But these are crusty. Can we get a crusty close-up? Well, I've been already picking at a lot of this one, but we got to get in here. And then this one's really bad. There is a lot of really heavy buildup in there. Like, I'm still digging down. So you can see. That's going to take a few minutes, but we're getting it. We've been at it for... Well, we did a few on the weekend with Dean. And then Miles is here to finish, yeah. and I was smart enough to put all the really bad ones in his pile. Obviously. So I can just mail it in over Somebody here. actually scraped the top down on this one already, so it's saving me a little bit. Uh, I'm not complaining. So what we are discovering is that they're really good, and just with the solvent from cleaning them up, the wrist pins are all loosening up really nice, so we got to be really careful getting in there and there. Yeah, that's it. Just uh, two more to go and then cylinder heads. Yeah. And that'll be fun. And we'll uh, we'll pop those uh, apart next. The pairings are just, they're all really good. Mm. Yeah, right? Like, that's just excellent, excellent. So, Such a nice find. Full set of rings coming. I'm not buying bearings. I'm a cheap bastard and it's perfectly good. You know what we need is a clean place to put everything. Uh, what about a bag, right? 
Because it doesn't matter. All the parts are the same, right? Correct. Get those out of there. Frager's wrecking the chair in the background. That's in there. Got it. Okay. okay. I'm just going to give myself a little extra. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Oh. Quite the pop. It's quite the pop pit. Oh, Double valve springs. What the hell? Performance time. And that's not a good sign. Hmm? It's too much performance. <laughs> Look at these seals. Is that's there more all that's seal? left of it. Is there more seal there? Nope. No, nope, that's it. It's decomposed. Alright. Okay, and this valve looks fair. This is funny, the first one we took out is the one that was replaced. Hmm. Hmm. This is the only oddball one. It's not dish. Yeah, it's odd. It had to be replaced. How are you going to get them all that close to each other? Oh, I'm smart. Some will be at different heights. <laughs> okay. Okay. Easy enough. There. Yeah, I'm going to put a hand on it. I don't want to take off. Okay. There's nothing wrong with those, really. Very, uh, very doable. Pretty beefy too, eh? Heavy duty yep, there. Yep. Hang on, my idea is failing. Uh oh. <laughs> Chunko seal. <laughs> Old Chunko seal. I don't know, man. I don't know Buick stuff, but. Yeah, well, they all look exactly the same, so. This, the, the guides, though, look nice, eh? You're getting a little pointy, a little sharp on the ends, but I don't think it's a big deal. Oh, some of these need a Here, hand. Give me. Okay, and now. There you go. That's all I need. Little stiction. We got it. Little. Uh, I mean, it's got a little concave to it. Yeah, they, like, they've yeah. got some wear on them, but they're not. They're not by any means beyond using. Unless we start finding burnt ones, I'm not worried at all. And we have multiple other engines to cannibalize if we do. Yeah. But that engine was running when it came out. I saw how good all those cylinders looked. And they were all exactly the same. So I have no reason to believe that any of these were misfiring. This one's stuck. Ah, uh, this might have been where the engine stuck. Remember you tried turning it yeah, over? Yeah, yeah. And it just would not it move. It just wouldn't move. It might have been this guy. Or one like it. We figured that the valve would be stuck down, but in this no, case, well, no. It just if it's move. stuck down, the engine will turn over. They're not interference. Nope. That's what I was figuring. Is the piston was smacking the valve. Oh, I just figured it was tight in the guide. Like yeah, it seems like you're right. Seems like it's very tight. And this this is another exhaust. You need to go back and forth a bit. Not hitting it and just letting it yeah. fall. Each time it goes further. Like some weird whack-a-mole game going. Mm -hmm. Whack-a-valve. It's entrancing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's YouTube gold. Oh, this one's not giving any trouble. So much is that we do. <laughs> that surface wasn't sealing. Like no, that, that there's would, no clean. Well, it's just, there's no... Ooh, that's pretty she's crusty. She's pitted eh? pretty bad, yeah. You think it's pitted or do you think it's just not? Well, it feels rough. I just don't rough. think it was closing. Yeah, like it hasn't been closed in a long yeah, time. No. I'm sure it'll close when we're done. But yeah, it's got light pitting all over it. This thing hasn't run in 50 years. Sure. Either, so yeah. we don't really know how much of this is from it sitting around. 
that poor old valve spring compressor is probably meant for doing lawnmowers. It's doing a great job though. It's still it going. Gets lots yeah. of use. I got it from my neighbor Mel years ago. Be kind to of me, Mel. Thank you. And this one's a gimme. This one's good. I'll put it this way: we'll be glad that we gave it a once over. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, but it probably would have run. And you know what? They probably would have pounded themselves and and started sealing eventually. But it's just that nice feeling when you put it together and you start it up, and it's just right. You know, I don't want. You know, oh no! Eventually, it kind of comes around like. This is all the stuff that if you've got the tools, none of this rebuild is costing us anything. Yeah, it's pretty fun actually. It is fun, right? I love using the little valve drive thing. So, how bad are the seats? <laughs> yeah, some of those seats are not functioning. Like that, I don't think that was sealing. That was the one oh that we God, both agreed yeah. was not looking good. You got a couple that are both looking that way. Yeah. A little rusty. That one's definitely this rusty. This one's okay. But it would be. It would be pretty nice to get this all clean. That yeah, looks really up. shitty. I didn't take it. Probably open as well. <laughs> oh, didn't we buy, when we were doing the other engines, you bought those wire wheel things that fit in the rotary and the drill and they just kind of clean like up that. and we yeah. just kind of went, you know, like we're that. not, we'll save the high perf stuff for your engine. My engine's the get her done engine. <laughs> well, what like that's a heavy piece oh, of man. iron. Big intake ports though. That's pretty decent. You don't need it. Look at you can see right downtown. Look at mm -hmm. massive, massive. And they're actually really clean. There's not yeah. not no, it's with nice. uh, casting it's nice. flash in the way like some of the Mopars are that I've yeah, played with. Yeah, it's it's really quite good. But nice. the exhaust is a pretty convoluted drive to get from in there to yes. out there. And nearly impossible to port, I understand. That's because what we hear. You're going so damn far. Luckily right? that's not to factor. But you can do a, you can do a lot right here. Like if the heads were done at seventy thousand, the engine's got another forty on here. Easy. But they're uh they're not they're no knife edge, right? They're all clean up. Sure. Yeah. That's all going back in, every bit of it. And they're not too sunk into the head. And the guides are a hundred percent usable. The guides are beautiful. But I think the Invicta, the only difference between a LeSabre and Invicta was a 401. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so the this, 364 is the lower yeah, line. This is the, th this is the LeSabre engine and it's going in my LeSabre car. Right. Unless that, that might be an Invicta though, because we found the four barrel and the dual exhaust manifolds yes. in the back. Yes. So, so you'll have to give me the 401 and then you can play. With <laughs> Look luckily, luckily it looked like I just punched his dog. It comes with what a the four barrel intake. Nice fucking drag. <laughs> nice try. There's a WCFB right there. That's gorgeous. That's cool, the eh? Tiny little yeah. bolting pattern. You know, this pattern. this carb worked well. I'll put it on. Oh, yeah? Fuck. Yeah, let's yeah, put a four barrel on. Right on. Shit, and then it'll you save. got the intake just sitting in the truck. Then you can put the cool it. four barrel uh, air cleaner on. It says Wildcat whatever time. Even in 59? Yeah. Oh. Well, do we have those? I don't know. Might have to find I some. think we got, I think the parts car had one of those Wildcat air cleaners. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't see a problem with uh, with doing that. No, the only trouble with this guy, you'll notice, no choke plate. So we'll have to Why find. Why is that? It's just that's how I got it. Oh, I see. It used to be there. It used Someone's to be right there. Somebody has taken the choke off. Well, it's a summer car. Anyway. Honestly, though, when you pump the gas on this thing, it dumps about seven cc's of <laughs> gas every. T like you don't need a choke. This thing, this will get <laughs> her rich. Of pumps. Yeah, Jeez. this thing richens up nicely. I think we'll uh, go from here. What next week we're gonna. We'll start grinding and well, cleaning the valves. Well, we'll clean everything first. Maybe I can pop by in a couple of days. We'll do the other one and then yeah, run them off sure. to get them clean. Oh, it's going to be warm. If it warms right. up, that's the day to grind the valves. Because we can do the heads in here with the kit. Because I got the stones and everything here. But the gr valve grinder is next door where it's minus 500. Okay. I bet you with a little bit of cleaning in here that all those valves will drop back in. Look at oil right there there you go yeah there that's it is. ported right there so that means that the shaft is getting oil oh Where's here here too yeah ported on thing. both sides yeah. because the head can be used either way but shouldn't there be an outlet underneath yeah right underneath it's right there oh right there you go yeah there oh, mystery man. solved so the bottom of all the rockers get direct yeah. oil pressure there you go. that's nice yeah and there's another one yeah every one of them is the same yeah and you know you can tell there's very little wear. Look at that. Oh, there's no difference. 
there's no ridge. Right. So despite however many hundreds of thousands of miles, probably not a half a thou aware of That's that. That's amazing. I've had some dodges where they have this similar thing yeah. and it looks like a fucking camshaft. <laughs> like the, the rockers have been banging, banging on no, it like, oh, my old. No oil changes? No oil. My first 318 Dodge I bought, that thing. Other way, yeah. That engine was so shit headed and I drove it. I was so proud of it. Nice domed piston coming up inside and yeah. plugs right in the center so your combustion oh. is... Did I tell you that they made a low and high compression version of this engine? Yeah. And this is the high compression version only because it's hooked to an automatic. That's what. And the stick shift cars had lower compression. So I wonder if it's so all I think it was dome? just like when they did with the Chev, when they put the power glide in, you had to get the bigger engine. Yeah. yeah. Because the power glide saps so much so power. So much power's lost. Please. So the cool, uh, that what does that tell you about the Dynapo? Not good things. Here we go. Fun Buick fun time. Cool. Yeah, that is really love fun. discovery. Discovery. Yeah, it's really kind of a fun thing just playing with this stuff. And, you know, we were talking about it last time, like how so much of this stuff ended up just getting scrapped for some little job that you could have like yeah and if you look at the quality the quality of every piece of this forged rocker arms forged crankshaft forged forged rods they're forged like oh crank. well the the taillights are out of style you know what i mean yeah. like everything in the baler because oh it's last year's model and it's just such a tragedy that today's crap doesn't have any of these forging the strength no it doesn't have endurance. any of the quality of materials at this house no, not that modern cars aren't engineered amazingly well, but there should have been no need to make them in the first place because we should still be driving these. This so still goes. This still, this will still go, and that's why that's what I love about this whole thing. I can just make a list of all my favorite cars that I've ever wanted since I was five years old, which I've more or less done. Yeah. Go out and buy them all. Fix a few little fix things. Fix a few little things and drive all of your favorite cars from history. It's incredible. With almost, you know, I wouldn't say no effort, but it's not like we have to open a, a lab here and like... Or inject huge thousands of yeah, dollars to like do we're it. just, it's just sitting around drinking beer time. Look at carburetors, yeah. do to do it's all, you know. It's nice, you have a carb at the ready. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of fun. Maybe I will use that. Well, you do I seem got, to be a two barrel poly guy. For now. Well, I could be a two-barrel Buick guy. Dude. Although part of the fun of the Buick would be that it gets seven miles. <laughs> I guess that transmission is really killing us. No, it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited to drive. Uh, uh, what is it called? Turbo slush? No. Nope. Um, uh, slip and slide. Uh, Dynaflow. Uh, Dynaflow. 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 I'm so excited because it's a it's a variable pitch converter like for a I guy like that's that. used to hear, feeling shifts it's going to be just an amazing thing thanks so much for the help man yeah awesome. no you bet there's the old girl looking pretty wintry yeah. there still looks mean no oh, i just love 59s hey there's nothing nicer i don't know what it is but i love that girl it just connects with me well, let's get the 59 done so we can do the 50 because I already have the engine for that too. Yeah, I know. You got I've got that straight eight. eight. Just yeah. kicking around. Yeah, right? I know. It's awesome. <laughs> Speaking of engines, board. how's she doing? She's behaving beautifully. Yeah, good. Keeping warm. The traction's the only problem. <laughs> well, it ain't the tires. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, buddy. Have a safe drive. day today. I'm going to paint uh, all of the doors for the Rover 3 liter for Laura. I've uh, got everything prepped out and hanging and bowed off here and so I'm just going to get at it. First we're going to wipe everything down, then we're going to wet the floor and seal up the room here. Uh, after that's done uh, we'll wipe everything off uh, with uh, some uh, paint prep kind of solvent, very mild solvent to wipe everything down. Uh, then, uh, yeah, then we're going to put 
one coat of epoxy sealer on everything to kind of give us a single solid color to paint over and uh, cover up any remaining uh, exposed bodywork or bare metal. And then after that dries probably for an hour, we're going to do three coats of single stage urethane in the green that we're going for. And that should get everything ready to reassemble. It's very difficult to get enough paint on in this kind of translucent color at one time. So we're going to put three coats on now to cover it, put the whole car together. Then if there's any mistakes or touch-ups or little stuff I'm not happy with, we don't feel like we've wasted a bunch of time if we have to tweak and sand and touch something up. Uh, that will allow us to get the final product that little bit nicer. Then once it's reassembled and sprayed again, uh, we'll uh, wait uh, several weeks to a month and then we will polish the car and then we can put all the moldings back on and then we, you know, glass, interior, etc. So this is a very important step in the process, but it's one of very many to go. Uh, I want the car done as much as anybody else. I know Laura does, but there's just, it's not something we can rush. So let's get busy. I'll uh, do a little wiping down here and see how that's done.
Okay, I'm going to wait uh, about one hour and then come in and just uh, start laying paint on. I used to tack the uh, sealer before I started painting over it, but I don't anymore. I found that I'm just doing more hard on the game. Okay, I guess we'll get started. First of three coats of green. I'm going to start on the back of this guy. Just finished spraying the third coat, so that's it for now. Uh, we can have a quick look, I guess. Not getting too carried away on the inside, but uh, just the parts you see. Kind of hard to focus on it, I guess. But It's kind of tricky to film anything with these lights, but uh, anyway, you know, looks okay. No runs, no, uh, I don't see any prep mistakes, so. Alright, well, we got the idea was just to get some paint on here, so we can carry on. That's it for the doors, uh, at least until assembly time. I still have to spray the hood and the deck lid. So we'll be moving those in here and uh, I think they're actually substantially less work than the doors, or at least I'm hoping. So uh, these will dry for a few days and I'll amuse myself with something else.
No, this was a huge doobie a few know, seconds ago. Kind of vacuumed it a bit there. Sorry, yeah. You vacuumed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. Filling in on light buzz today. Agent yeah. Dean, thanks so much for coming over, buddy. Welcome, man. Cheers. Yeah, it's been good. I, I, well, this Buick has been so. I've been actually so happy to get to the Buick project, know, you know, man. now that we're actually in deep and now we're going to actually get the we're parts We're actually going to do it. Yeah, yeah, we're building this car. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh,. Can't start a project without a starter. Right. Oh, that was lame, <laughs> hey? Boo. Take two. Ah, Starting. Use it. Uh, use it. Dean says use it. Yeah. It's going. Uh, anyway, we've got our inspirational posters here. Thank you to the people who donated those. That is awesome. And, of course, our inspirational models. I just cannot get enough of those 59 Buick models. So, this is the model of starter we have. This is a this is for our 364. Uh, a pretty good light buzz project. Agent Steven already scraped it down a bit. Um, so, I think at this point, it looks. Uh, you know what I'm going to enjoy about this is how well made all this is going to be. What a lovely thing! Uh, what a yeah treat, hey! And you know what? Look at. I mean, we're going to take this apart. We're going to make sure that everything's cool. Yeah. And we're gonna put it back together clean and then it's probably good to go. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's too bad really of a, uh, like a little minor wear on the teeth a bit. Eh? Not hardly anything, yeah. No, this thing, this starter is in very, very good condition. I like how GM traditional solenoids were just kind of, that's so cool. I'm glad they kind of- This car out. was originally started by pushing the gas pedal to the floor. Right. The trigger for the solenoid right. is on the carburetor. <laughs> So hard to believe these things were on the road, eh? Like, wow. Oh, I just love how magical they are. So Cars cool. from a time when <laughs> people still look forward to the future. We have the Delta Wing fin. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know, I love it. Anyway, that's cool. my 59 Buick uh, oh. info. That's all I really know about them is I really, really want one. Mm -hmm. And this is how we're doing it. Well, yeah, you and Miles both have one now. Well, that'd be fun. We're not trying to go fast, we're just trying to go to the store. Okay. But that means this all has to work every time. It's free, but you haven't contacted them, or so you're not. Actually, no, I, I did talk to him. And? He said, this is my grandfather's car. I'm like, cool. And I'm like, get your And you see, didn't make him an offer? And the fourth hubcap is there. The cars aren't cool anymore, right? Well, they're fi our fives are. Yeah, that, oh yeah, but I mean, Whatever Renault and Citroen make today means nothing. Oh, okay, yeah. there's I don't, this I don't thing. I don't like new cars. But like you have... would buy a fucking Hyundai Elantra. So what's the diff? Oh, no, I got that for free. But that but, was back in, you know. This but car. even, even for free. You know what I mean? Sometimes even if it's free. I'm older now. I just, I I'm the, older. I bought the Accord for 1500 Oh, like, he's fucking moving. He's fucking, he's a grown up. Yeah. To the east. <laughs> <laughs> You're all east side now. Yeah. Fuck. Is that a stance? It's like old parts in the back of the cord laid low. <laughs> Your like stance here cord that's really just full of junk with worn out shocks. Here, yeah, just put that on the cleaning ooh. bench. Thank okay. you. Oh, I love the TA, man. Wicked, eh? Oh, dude, we're going to have some fun. High school parking lot TA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> High school parking lot TA. Maybe a guy should just... God damn, whistle it together. TA, yeah. Yeah, and just drive it the way it is. But it's mm -hmm. so, it's such junk. Like, it's just junk. <laughs> no way. It, dude, it's junk. Look at the, just the windshield wipers. The whole car is just fucking, it's like it was restored by a home for juvenile delinquents. Like, well, I mean, it's not, I've seen, well, I've never seen one actually. Was I'm assuming one? we're just taking every goddamn thing off of this thing, right? I'm gonna do the random destruction technique and you can do the read the instructions technique <clears throat> and it'll say whatever you do don't loosen the oh. bolt <laughs> yeah, like it's as i'm red. just like do 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 okay it's <laughs> just about crazy i'm sure i found it earlier and i'm just like I'm just so wrecked again. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, that's it's, fine. It's coming kind of along here. Yeah, it's fine. You're doing fine. Okay, here we go. Start oh, on. here we can just. <laughs> it says, if you don't know how to take off those. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> says, if you haven't figured it out by now, butthead, <laughs> you're an idiot. Jesus, I've made a sh absolute shambling shit show of this. There we go. 
do 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 look at all the parts that I'll never get back in. It's too hard. <laughs> no, it's Today okay. on Scott Gives Up Easy. I'm not gonna focus, but here and there. You gotta focus. Come to the wrong it's, place. It doesn't really tell you how to take it apart. Doesn't it tell you. you. It just tells you go back to school if you can't. <laughs> like you, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> what is the matter with you, you moron? <laughs> Who let you out of the house? <laughs> Look at all of these pieces that we're never going to get back in. Oh, oh nightmare. Oh, dude, it's, oh, it's, it's in bad. good shape. It's good no, shape. dude, uh, that's good. We've I seen them where they look like like oh, fucking yeah. old Roman oh. roads. Yeah, that's <laughs> just it. all yeah. hollered no, it looks out. Good, man. What is this? I just took this off. Uh, that oh, it's the back half of this. Okay, good. How's the brushes? Dude, there's... It just needs it's a fine. It's all fine. Oh, those brushes are nice. Probably would have been fine. We'll just give it a very light cleaning. That's good. Sprag, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all minty, man. You know, it's good, Here, though. Man, give me some, I'll take that nose yeah. cone. I'll clean this guy up. Take that nose cone. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to take the barrel. What are we doing? Okay, so check out the parts that we all cleaned out tonight. It was actually didn't take that long. Look at how good we did. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, what did we do? Not much. It's all in excellent condition. It's just clean, grease, reassemble. Bloop. Brushes are good. <laughs> Commutators good. Good. There, it, there's nothing wrong with this thing. Look at the cleaning job. Superior. I'd say so. Okay, chuck it back together, Dean. Okay. The commutator, we can get, let's get the commutator into the brushes first. Okay, oops, don't forget where that goes. That's a for sure going to forget thing right there. <laughs> yeah. You want me to hold the brush? I probably you might have to hold at least yeah, one yet. Yeah. Able to. There you go. Okay, we're done. Nicely done. Good. Are we okay. good though? Yep, okay. we're good. Okay. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, just oh, rock and yeah, roll yeah, yeah. it up a bit. Do dowels, and then this guy here, though, I'm worried about what I'm holding. Because I don't know where. Here's my angle. Do you see my angle? What's your angle? Yeah. Get that in first. Then we don't have to worry about that at least. Oh, yeah, good call. Now we can just hammer the rest together. It'll take two seconds. Because that's all going to stay put now, and you're going to run this. Mm -hmm. Bugger in here. There. God damn it. It was more fun to take it apart, eh, Dean? It's, uh, well, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Taking it apart was fun. Putting it together sucks. To. Uh, come on, where's the click? Oh, so much better. Good click. job. There we go. Right, the okay, now. Uh, the we need grease. the you grease. Grease and then, hey, do you want me to hold it for you while you grease? Or are you okay with the pressure? Okay, put the end on. Where's the screws lining up? God. Over here, sorry, it's right here. Where my finger is. It's not. No, that's the pin. This no. here, see this little oh. boss here? That's for threads. Okay. But this is just. Ranging. I'm assuming these are not supposed to touch the bolts. Am I right? We got there, there. That means that this should go exactly Sweet. like you said. I see. Yeah, it looks like a nice angle. Let me hold it. You thread. Actually, <laughs> got her fucking started. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think you did too. Oh, uh -huh. and <sighs> oh my god. Here comes Grandpa with the fucking yeah kids. Go get Grandpa yeah, a socket. Have like a power nap right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just one, eh? <laughs> Just 
Okay. Interesting. Okay, good. Do I have the right one now? Yes. No! What is the matter with me? What is this for then? Oh, it's for this. Every other one's a different goddamn size. Gotcha. Oh, fuck this. I'm getting this. And we're done there. Mm -hmm. And we're done here. Okay. And it should work. Okay. Sweet. Cool, man. Got her. Woohoo! Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, you're looking good. And then this, and then this guy here is a little. Maybe oh yeah, nice. that's just finger tight. Yeah, thank you. Nine sixteen. Uh, that's nice. Hey, wow, original. Yeah. Do you notice how much green paint is on here still? So it looks like the starters may have been on the vehicle when, or on the engine when they painted the engine. And the overspray of the nose cone and the green here. Anyhow, yeah. um, maybe I'm wrong. We right? decided not to paint it, at least for now. And we'll decide what gets what color because we're building a Condor's car here. Uh, uh, we don't care. I don't care, but Dean's feelings will be hurt if uh, I don't paint well, it all the right overspray. The block's going to be painted, so you kind of might as well just... Uh, let's test it. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we're good. You're actually excellent. Good. Yeah, it works great. Okay. Nice. Hey guys, thanks for watching live buzz tonight. That was actually fun because we haven't live. Done... Was it live? No, light. Oh, light. <laughs> How long have you been doing this show with me, I man? Thought, like yeah, twenty thousand like... years. <laughs> Frankers, Frankers is just crazy. causing a rocket. <laughs> that was. This cut, is the... cut it out. What? <laughs> huh? Look, you're making everything impossible. You're a oh, terrorist. No. What? I see you there. What? I don't have anything. <laughs> Frank is just gonna fuck the place up. Thanks for watching Late Buzz tonight, guys. That was really fun because we haven't done it in a while. Strider motor on the 59 Buick, 364 nail head. Cleaned up together, greased good. I think it'll be fine. For it'll be good what, how much you miles that you drive, it'll be fine. <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> you barely live in the barely driveway. Good enough, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. I can't, I just, I'm so excited to get that thing apart and together and ah. We're happy here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? We're good. Thanks for watching Live Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> this is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>